Good morning, everybody. I'm Sam with Babbitt's Backcountry in Flagstaff, Arizona. This morning, we're going to talk to you a little bit about all the cool things you can do with a jet boil and really all the parts and pieces that really make up the entire unit that is a jet boil. Today, specifically, we're going to be talking about the jet boil flash, and that's this unit right here. It's got a stove, your fuel, your cup, and your bowl. It's also got a measuring cup on the bottom. This is a complete unit. And we're going to go over how it all packs in here so nice and tight and really what it does. Okay, so everything packed inside of here in the jet boil. I'm going to start popping it apart. We've got the lid. First thing in here, this is pot support. And this is really useful if you want to cook something like a can of beans or you're going to use a bigger pot that's not a jet boil pot. Um, we've got our isobutane fuel. And this little canister of fuel is a mix it's designed specifically to work from everything from sea level to the top of the highest peaks it's pretty dang light and runs super efficient for this particular stove we've got the stove unit itself and then we've got this little tripod which is your fuel canister support kind of helps you stabilize on the bottom quarter turn pops off this measuring cup and this is also like you can eat your cereal out of this um, but this has got little gradations on the inside that actually can use as a measuring cup pop off our spoons and then we have left over the actual jet boil flash cup so right here on the bottom we've got these heat flux rings and that's really kind of the, the science behind why this is such an efficient system so when you combine that with an insulated pot what this does is it really directs the heat directly into the bottom of the pot and so you're not hitting your flames going up and hitting the bottom and then deflecting out you're getting them up and then actually absorbing in those heat flux rings so um, they did a really really cool job when they put this all together to start the assembly of your jet boil, spread open your little tripod stabilizer and it just so simply snaps on to the bottom of your fuel. Safety tab, dust cover. Next on the stove itself, we'll flip open the regulator and it just simply screws on here. Here a little tss, that means it's solid, ready to go. I broke the fuel seal kind of find your little tripod happy spot there. Now for this particular episode we're not going to be using the pot support but one thing to note that you can cook a whole lot of things and the fact that this fits in here to turn this stove into anything that locks with a jet boil product into using it with any pot you can have. On the side of the on the side of the jet boil there's a little locking lug here and essentially what that does it goes in and turns just about an eighth of a turn in these little indentations so that the whole thing can be picked up as a unit. That's a pretty key feature so you're not uh, knocking your pot off and once you've got a good sturdy purchase on whatever you're setting your pot on, it's, it's a pretty solid unit. So to go over this, the simple act of boiling water up here on top of the mountain, it's just as easy as filling up the cup. Now one thing to note is this cup is about a four and a half cup cup. But we don't want to fill it up past the line inside that says do not fill past here, two cup mark. Um, what that does is this gets a pretty violent boil going on because it boils so fast and so efficiently We don't want to have that room on top where it's going to blow off the lid and have a chance of burning somebody Throw on our lid keeps the efficiency in a little simple snap and then we're down to turn on the regulator on this side And then over here. We've got a piezoelectric lighter that clicks so All goes well we can just crack it We're ready to go. As the saying goes, we're cooking with gas. So here, just shy of two minutes, we come in almost ready to have this thing full on roaring boil. And the one thing they call this particular model, the flash, is it's got a cool feature on it. That's just before it starts to boil, well, it's all, all the way boiling right now. But you see that we've got this like orange color on the side. And a minute ago, that was black. And so that's kind of a heat indicator. We'll call it a dummy check. It just kind of says, hey, that's hot. Watch out when you touch it. So you can grab this and it's insulated, but it's definitely warm. You only want to touch the neoprene part and not the actual metal part. So as we're full roaring boil here, turn down the regulator. Oh, we have officially cooked gourmet water. Okay, so now that we've got our water, there's like, what do you do with water? We can do everything from, we just heated up water so we can have some hot towels to wash our face with. We can make some tea, make some coffee, pour this in a good mountain house meal. And that's a good thing. We'll talk about mountain house as a whole nother video. That's a great backcountry product. And you take your cup here and you just snap it back on and it kind of acts as a safety guard. And so now you're fully constrained, you can pop your lid on. And if you had a tea bag, you could just throw it in there. And this cup is actually pretty cool. They kind of come with a with a mouthpiece, like already cut into it right here. You got the 
a little sippy cup if you will you can throw it on there have your tea you can drink it right out of here so just kind of as a wrap up I mean we've got this jet boil it's not complicated at all literally anybody can use this it just takes a you know the first time user can pick it up walk through it understand it follow a few simple directions and be able to cook anything that they want to out in the wilderness we use a whole lot of these other accessories and a lot of good mountain house meals and a good cooking options and an array of things that we can do with it that we're going to kind of talk about in some future videos so this this mountain house one is one i'm excited about mostly because i get to eat the mountain house at the end of it so um, check back with us make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on facebook um, and just stop into babbitt's backcountry and say hi and if you need any help with any of this product make sure that you just snag one of our helpful employees and we can teach you how to use it so thanks everybody